So when we talk of the energy mix, what do we actually mean? Energy mix, like cell wall, a whole thing would be become. Ah, would be be afra. It's a when you storm energy be the afra. Welcome to Energy Quest. You know what we do on Energy Quest? We demystify the energy sector. Have you always wondered where your electricity comes from? Where power comes from to your homes, to your workplaces? Where the electricity that powers our lives comes from? Today, we have a very seasoned gentleman with us in energy. And he's going to explain to us what our energy mix in Ghana is made up from. What is the energy mix? Well, let's speak to him and he's going to tell us what the energy mix is, what is made up of, and everything that we need to know about it. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Okay. We're discussing the energy mix. Mm -hmm. Okay. But before we delve into that, just being a little curious, tell us about your life's work in energy. Um, well, my working life or my professional life started with the Water River Authority, right from university. Okay. I did my national service in the Water River Authority, VRA mm -hmm. uh, for short. That started in 1987. 1987? And uh, I worked with VRA for about 32 years. Wow. And uh, I'm now into energy consulting. Okay. So that's what I'm doing now. I, in VRE, I have done a lot of work in various aspects of electricity. I was in charge of the actual production of electricity at Akosomo plant. Okay. Uh, I was in charge of those who manually start the machine, stop it. The whole and, process. The whole process, yeah. From operations, I moved into engineering, where we design and then build power plants, kind of. Mm. I also went a bit into transmission, uh, because when power is generated, it needs to be transmitted. So I've done a bit of transmission and dispatch of power. I have also done uh, strategic planning of uh, generation systems. In other words, how do you manage a generating company? Okay. Like VRA. I have dealt with all the VRA customers. Okay. Uh, I negotiated most of the contracts with customers. That was after years after working as an engineer, you go into commercial matters. So I've negotiated a lot of contracts for VRA. I've also managed non-power activities in VRA. Mm. Well, I mean non-power activities, real estate, schools, okay. HR. Those There's things. a wealth of experience. Yeah, so I've done all those things. But Still an engineer, so I don't focus too okay, much. Okay, so what things. kind of engineer are you? I'm an electrical engineer. An electrical engineer. Yeah. So that's what you studied at KNUST. Exactly. Wow, a very own trained. Exactly. That's, that's beautiful. But just to give credit to other institutions, after my electrical engineering, I did an MBA in energy management. Okay. At the University of Montreal. Oh, okay, so. okay. But at least we gave our own the foundation. Oh, sure. That's yeah. where the engineering starts. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That, that's good. Congratulations. You've, you've, you've done a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, obviously, you're the perfect person to explain the energy mix of Ghana to us. Mm. So, when we talk of the energy mix, what do we actually mean? Hey, y'all, come look at this. Energy is something that is mixed. Energy mix. Wait for it. Like here it comes. So uh, almost there. I want to What? I want to be the Afra. I said when you storm energy, be the Afra. Okay. You know, energy comes in various forms. 
And uh, for purposes of our discussion, I want us to focus on electrical energy because we have various types of energy. Mm -hmm. Now, electrical energy, though it's the same commodity, it can be produced from various sources. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, we qualify the electrical energy by the kind of source that produced it. If you produce an electrical energy from water, okay. we call it hydroelectric yeah. power. Mm -hmm. If you produce electrical energy from thermal or heat, we call it thermal we electric, power. electric power. If you produce electricity from the sun, we call it solar energy or solar electricity. Yeah. You can produce electricity from wind, mm -hmm. which is also wind energy. Before I come to your, your question, electrical energy is normally produced by a machine called a generator. Okay. Now, a generator needs to be moved to, to produce electricity. You need something to turn the generator. So for hydro, for example, what they do is that they drop water from a high level, mm -hmm. and with that drop, it hits a turbine. Okay. And that turbine, just like a fan, begins to turn. Mm -hmm. And that turning effect also turns the generator, produces electricity. Wow. For thermal, what mm -hmm. they do is that they heat the fuel, or they burn the fuel. Mm -hmm and then they push the pressurized fuel onto the turbine. It's like hot air onto what, what a turbine. What kind of fuel? It could be natural gas, it could be light crude oil, okay. it could be diesel, okay. it could be anything that can burn. But these ones have different prices, mm -hmm. so you want to be sure you use fuel that is not too expensive. Yeah. So when you burn fuel and you push it with force okay. onto a turbine to get okay. the turbine to turn, the generator will turn, power okay. is produced. So that That's is how thermal. come the source will cause the generation of electricity. Oh, okay. okay, so back to your question. So in, 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 a, partic in a particular environment, mm -hmm. you can have electricity that is produced from water, hydro, yeah. electricity that is produced from thermal, yes. electricity produced from solar, yeah. wind. The basket of all these machines yeah. is what we try to refer to as the mix of the electricity. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. electricity, uh, the mix is normally expressed in percentage, it's ratio. So if let's say I have 100 units of electricity, mm -hmm. and then 50 of the units I use water, hydro, yeah. and 30 of the units I use thermal, okay. and 10 of the units I use solar, mm -hmm. and then the additional 10 I use wind. Mm -hmm. And I would say that my mix is 50% hydro, 30% thermal, yeah. 10% solar, 10%. Oh. That is the mix. Is the, the mix. The okay. mix. So that is what we mean by the electricity mix. mix. And it differs from country to country. Okay. Okay. So what's Ghana's mix like? Presently, as we talk, mm -hmm. Ghana has a mix of hydro, mm -hmm. thermal, mm -hmm. and a little bit of solar. Okay. The hydro is about 30%. Thermal is about 69%. Thermal, rather? Yes. Okay. And then solar, it's about 1%, making the 100%. Okay. We have a little bit of biomass, but okay. it's so negligible that it doesn't even affect the percentage. Counts that much. Yeah. Okay. Just for your information, the mix of Ghana has not been like this from day one. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of history. Ghana started off with... Full hydro, 100 percent. Yes, that, that's what we had known. 100 percent hydro. From the famous Akosombo. Exactly. And with time, we realized that the water alone wasn't sufficient as a source for mm -hmm. electricity production. Because anytime the water level goes down, 
than doing so stats. <laughs> so we thought it wise to bring in another technology that doesn't depend on, on water. water. So we went in for the thermal plants. And surprisingly, the thermal plants have grown mm -hmm. to even pass yes, the yes, volume yes. of hydro of we have. The so that's the 69, 30, and 1%. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But ideally, is this mix the perfect, as in, in terms of cost? Mm -hmm. If you look at the percentages that Ghana is running, is it the best that we should have in order to have expense down? Sometimes um, it's, not, it's not as if, it's not what you want. It's what your, your country has, hmm. okay? Those times when we had all hydro, Akosomo is cheap. Yes. And when we say it's cheap in terms of numbers, Akosomo mm -hmm. it's about three cents, two to three cents okay. per kilowatt hour. Um, a thermal machine now it's about ten, eleven cents. Wow, that's a huge hour. difference. Oh yeah. But surprisingly, if you build another hydro plant mm -hmm. today, it's going to cost you about twelve cents. That's another oh. matter for another discussion. Yes, because Formerly, for this one... The hydro was cheap only because the environmental concerns wasn't too much. But now the environmental cost is so high uh -huh. that it costs a lot more to yeah. produce with water. Hmm. But the... Even though it was, it was put... I mean, it was built long past the environmental concerns still come in because once it's still in use, you'd come to answer some of these things and add on and fix. Does it not affect the unit cost? Well, the, the initial environmental concern at that time, Uncle mm -hmm. Sombo, was the resettlement of human beings. You know, during those times, there wasn't much talk about resettlement of uh, fishes like animals and there wasn't oh. that much, okay? So we're more interested in just resettling the human, human beings. Human beings, yeah. So that's how come we created a resettlement town mm -hmm. and moved the people so we could flood mm -hmm. or they could flood the yeah, area. The area. Uh -huh. But now, if you want to flood an area, you mm -hmm. displace the human beings, you settle them. And you displace you the animals. You have to resettle the animal, resettle <laughs> the plants. Yeah. It's, it's a very tedious and expensive exercise. So this adds to the cost. So a, hydro, a typical hydro plant, the water is free mm -hmm. for now. The machines are expensive relatively. Mm -hmm. The environmental cost is also very expensive. So at the end of it all, the cost per unit from such a plant yeah. is high. No wonder wow. we, we plant cost the same as a thermal plant. Because of the auxiliary... Auxiliary costs, that environmental costs that come with it. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we are now in... This is 2023. Mm -hmm. Between now and, let's say, by 2030, is it possible to, that within that framework we can have some strategy or some changes that can reduce... Because we're doing so much of thermal and that's pretty expensive. So that can reduce the... Um, pressure on that one that cost us so much, and the mix can change a bit. Well, it's 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 easy to do it in the long term if you plan well, because now you have thirty percent hydro, mm -hmm. sixty nine percent thermal, yeah. and one percent solar. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you want to increase your hydro, yeah, or increase your solar, mm -hmm. just to bring down the cost the thermal, altogether. Okay? Now, to increase hydro means build more hydro plants, hmm. okay? Now, which hydro plants are you going to build? Mm -hmm. We have some potential hydro plants. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't, it takes a lot of time to build a hydro plant. You need to study the river. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you're building the dam at a place where you can capture maximum volume of water. Of water. Okay, it takes a lot of feasibility study to build a hydro plant. Now, if you want to build a hydro plant now, mm -hmm. feasibility 
and all those development that that will take us lot. about 10 years. Okay. <laughs> so if you look at 2030, hydro may not be a very good candidate. It's not the ideal to, option. Not ideal. So the next option we have is solar. Okay. The solar radiation is there, free, for now. We just need to find a way to build the solar technology mm -hmm. so that people would have more access to solar energy. Is that not equally expensive for the average person? Well, now it looks expensive. Solar over the years, have, solar prices have come down and they are coming down very fast. I, I strongly believe that within a short time, Mm -hmm. the, the, the shortest possible future. Solar prices will be so low mm -hmm. that people can afford it. Okay. And you see, what will happen is that you don't need to have a solar plant sitting somewhere for everybody producing to for everybody. Entry. The world is now moving into an area where people love to have control of what they want. Some time back, to make a call, you need to go to Ghana go outside. Telecom. Yes. Now you have your own phone. You mm -hmm. make your own call. Yeah. In the same way, electricity is going to get to a point where I don't need somebody to produce it mm -hmm. for me. It will be that personalized. I, I need it myself. So mm -hmm. the, the, the easiest way to get your own electricity now is solar. Okay. So people have solar panels on their houses, they, their homes. They, they are okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, solar is only available during the day. Mm -hmm. When the sun is there, you have solar. When yeah. the sun goes off, But you solar. harvest it to the season when so the you sun put, is not So you there. put the energy in a battery mm -hmm. for the battery to give you the power in the evening. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the solar panels are expensive. Mm -hmm. The batteries are very expensive. As you said, the average Ghanaian cannot afford. Yeah. Okay, so we make do yeah. with some level of solar. But I say that as prices go down, it would get more. It will get more. more people. And more, I can tell you that solar is going to develop to a point where it will be very difficult for mass production of electricity to compete okay. with individual solar because, look, people want to have control yeah. over their power. So if they have the control and it's competitive, the price is not too different from what the big guys will give me, mm -hmm. then I'll take my solar. Of course. Have control over my power. Mm -hmm. And I don't worry about any other supplier. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. I yeah. mean, so we're why, going to why, get why there. Not? And it's not it's going to take us not too long. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for You're making welcome. time with us. To our lovely viewers, thank you for spending your time with us as well. If you have not subscribed, kindly go ahead and do that now. Just go down and click the subscribe button and do click the bell as well so you will be notified whenever we have the next episode on. So, as usual, this is what we do on Energy Quest. We demystify the energy sector and add value. So we meet again. Ciao.